In this video, let's take a look at styled components support for animations with keyframes. If you take a look at app.css, which is generated as part of Create React app, you can see an animation for the React logo. As part of this animation, there is a keyframes rule which is used for spinning the logo. So in app.js, if we were to import the logo at the top and include it in the JSX with the animation class, which is app-logo, you should see the logo spinning in the browser. But what you should also know is that this CSS is not tied to a single component. It is present in the global scope, if I can call it that. And this has two drawbacks. One, you might have name collisions. So in the source folder, I can create styles.css, copy paste the app logo class and the keyframes animation, change the duration to two seconds instead of 20 seconds and rotation from zero degrees to 90 degrees. Include this in app.js Head back to the browser and you can see the logo now animates for only two seconds. So there is a collision in the CSS class names and the one that is parsed last will prevail. This is something you would want to avoid in a large project. The second drawback is that the CSS code is going to be served even if the component that makes use of it is never loaded. To overcome these drawbacks, the styled components library provides a keyframes helper. Let's see how it works. Now I'm going to continue using the button.styles.js file. I would recommend you write the code in a file that is tied to a component and make sure your code is organized and maintainable. Since this is a simple demo, I'm going to continue in the same file. The first step is to import the keyframes helper from the library. So at the top, import styled and keyframes from styled components. Next, we define the keyframes by assigning it to a constant. So const rotate is equal to keyframes, backticks, and we're going to say from zero degrees to 360 degrees. Finally, make use of it in a styled component. So export const animated logo is a styled image. And we're going to add the styles from before. Height and pointer events and also the animation. But this time, instead of the class name, we specify the constant, rotate. Back in app.js, we can now invoke the styled component passing in the source attribute. So I'm going to comment out the previous image tag and include animated logo. Make sure to import it at the top and pass in the source attribute. Take a look at the browser. And the logo is spinning pretty fast since this should be 20 seconds. Now we have the same result as earlier, but our code doesn't have limitations like before. So this is how you work with animations and keyframes with styled components. In the next video, let's take a look at support for theming. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.